I am going to demonstrate the projects in the Snap Circuits FM Radio Mini Kit. Like I said in the introduction video, there are four projects, and the first one is obviously the FM radio. To use it, you turn on the slide switch and move the lever on the adjustable resistor for desired volume. This is 88.5 WXPN HD. Now, to switch station, you push the T button. The tune button. Here's some neat classical music. So state government. Also represented by local 195 are employed tight, ever so slight chance of showers in the morning. Lights as they cast ballots, but pollster Christine turned down the line for good. Some stations may have clearer reception than others. Now Unfortunately, you can't go back. You can't tune in reverse, in other words. But to go back to the beginning of the band, you would hit the reset or R button. And now you can start all over again. This is just a very simple FM radio. So it's not recommended for everyday use, but it's excellent for demonstration purposes, in my opinion. Like if you were showing a class how such a device works. Now, FM radio is different than AM radio. Well, AM stands for amplitude modulation. FM stands for frequency modulation. And in the case of an FM radio station, its, frequent, its transmit frequency is varied or modulated in order to encode voice or music on it. And then an FM transmitter would be placed atop a high building or tower in order to send out FM radio waves through the air. This wire here serves as the antenna. It will pick up FM radio waves and then the U4 amplifier makes them stronger so that you can hear music or other sound through your speaker. Now again, this radio is very simple, and it also is only capable of FM receiving FM signals, not AM ones. For project two, I removed the two snap wire from here, as well as the single snap wire that was underneath this end of the adjustable resistor. I am going to turn on the slide switch and touch this point on the of the RV resistor with my finger. Listen carefully. You probably hear very quiet static. If I tap the point repeatedly, you might hear a clicking sound. It's best to wet your finger for maximum sound quality, but that shows you that the amplifier is ready to is on and ready to amplify signals. Now, despite what I said about the FM radio in the previous project, it's possible in this one you might actually hear an AM radio station, and that'll be interesting if you do. The next two projects will use the same circuit. But for number three, which is the electronic kazoo, I am going to touch both these two points simultaneously with my fingers. And you can hear some very interesting sounds from the speaker. You can change the pitch based on how hard you make contact with those two points. You may even be able to play a few songs with enough practice. Your fingers provide a feedback path across the amplifier. And it's possible the circuit might make sound on its own, but that's normal for such an amplifier. Project 4 is a simulated trombone. 
when I turn on the slide switch and place my fingers between these two points. You may hear sounds that are akin to that of a trombone. And then I can move the lever on the adjustable resistor to vary the pitch. The lever on the RV resistor represents the slide on a trombone used to change the sound's frequency. On the highest setting, the sound is so high-pitched that human ears cannot hear it. And there you have it with the projects of the Snap Circuits Mini Kit FM Radio. Thank you very much for watching them, and I hope you learned a lot about FM radio as well as amplifiers.